from as young as I can remember, I was always with a rugby ball in the garden with my dad, and I just remember being, oh, when can I go to my local rugby club, which was Wooten Bassett, and just get started. It was just an opportunity for me to use all my energy up as a youngster, really. And I used to love, obviously, running away from people, but also love chasing after people as well. As a club, Gloucester is a big part of my life now, and I live just around the corner. I'm really in the thick of it in terms of the buzz and the atmosphere building up to games. King's home absolutely buzzing in this round one LV Cup match this afternoon. When I'm standing in the tunnel about to go out, you feel sharp, you've got your teammates around you, the crowd are roaring and the adrenaline's pumping. <laughs> you don't want to wait much longer because the anticipation is almost killing you. Charters has knocked that one back, gets it away to Johnny May. The try he scored in the LV Cup when playing against Sale was one of those great tries. On the halfway line, May's got real gas and he's getting up to the 22 now. I just remember getting it on the halfway line and pinning my ears back really. He's got plenty of Sale Sharks players to beat, but oh, that's superb from May! If you just give him the ball in space, he runs like hell for the line. That's what he's always done. The LV Cup's hugely important to the development of young players. I got to play in numerous positions. I think it developed my game massively. It really is an initiation, really, getting that first first team game and being a part of it. You, you gain that camaraderie with your teammates and you really become part of the team for the first time. It was always just a distant dream at first, really. I, I went to Harbury College and I'd see these guys train and play and to think that I'm a part of that now is surreal, really. And the more I've got involved, the more I've almost let into this family culture that the club has. The people who shaped my journey into rugby would definitely first and foremost be my dad. He was there every weekend from a very young age, taking me all over the country, here, there and everywhere. When he was about four and a half, five years old, I was teaching him to ride a bicycle. Johnny didn't want to stabilise at all and I literally put him on the bike without stables on. I thought he was going to face plant, but he didn't, so he's always had good coordination and balance. It's great to have my dad at games. He's part of my support network, along with my mum and, and my girlfriend. And I can always pick him out because his socks are down knowing that all these people have invested time and effort into you and care and you just want to go out there and do, do them proud. Winning the LV Breakthrough Player Award was a great achievement and something that I'm still very proud of. It was probably the first time that I got recognised as a talent, I guess. I think that increased his profile and I think it just gets you in the right situation to be noticed. Without that, I probably wouldn't be where I am now because I wouldn't have had these opportunities and learned what I had done. It's a huge honour to be a rugby player for England and part of that setup. It's, it's something that I would have dreamed about from a very young age. The feeling after that New Zealand try uh, and um, get emotional now, you know. You, you only get a few chances, so I'm, I'm glad I was able to show to myself and everyone what, what I am capable of because I, I knew I could do it. It's a real emotional roller coaster, and uh, I'm just looking forward to the next adventure.